small video that she's probably going but I'm up to Black Rock this uh, background is what was used in one of the films down, that was down in Cornwall um, God, I can't remember the name of it it's based in um, 18th century times um, God what's it called it was a drama that was on Sunday evenings and they they did some of the filming here because I recognised the the quarry here it'll come to me I just can't remember the name of the drama series it was um it's an old series but they did a new one with Aiden somebody in it, it was uh yeah I recognise him and I recognise there yeah yeah I remember that they do use a lot of Somerset scenery for uh dramas because um we have the one over Brain um Sam Bay what they used. That was another drama with similar people in it. <sighs> Again based in the eighteenth century. <sighs> yeah bits big bits have fallen off over the last year or so. I've noticed a huge piece there. I've seen a goat perched right on the top of there before now. It's not a good idea to sit, well even here's not really safe, it's definitely not safe to sit anywhere below. These things just fall when they want to go. Um, a dog hasn't been known to have died here. He ran off the top and there used to be a memorial to him for a little while. Yeah, it's best to have a picnic standing back. So anyway, I was there the I didn't get up close the other week because I walked around the edge. There was people picnicking up here. But um I walked along this trail here and I was going to Longwood. I just made it to Longwood, you know, to see the glory of the wild garlic and the bluebells. I just made it, to be quite honest. So I'm going up, I've probably even videoed this track. There's a lot of crossover of video footage that I do. <sighs> right, over and out. Nearly out. Nearly out of video, nearly out of battery on this one. So we're at Velvet Bottom Reserve. Um, I always feel that my sister Jude is with, sort of with me when I'm walking here because I know this is one of the walks I know she did and uh, I know she's walked here she told me I don't know whether she went up further up and all round I'm not sure I don't even know if she knew Longwood because there is a way through there you know that you can go um, but the cows were grazing there um, That's those markings all to do with a race that was on over the weekend. There's a lot of activity going on over the weekend. Anyway, like I said, this stream, I know when I walk here, it reminds me a lot of Jude. I can imagine her walking along here with Stuart. With their picnic. With their little hats on. And enjoying the peace. So, I hope if you're around Jude, you're walking with me now here. I often feel my kids with me, you know. They don't come on these walks. But I can often feel them with me. It's a strange thing. I say to Zara sometimes, I'm sure you've done that walk with me. She says, Mum, I don't do walks. But I, I feel my kids. I do, a lot. Uh, in a way, it'd be nice if we lived closer, but I can't. I'm not going back to live in Bridgewater. I like Western now. I've got to know it. I've, it's not just. It's a pothole, by the way. There's lots of potholes on the Mendips. Lead to great big underground caverns. <sighs> yeah, we're from Western. I've got transport, all sorts of transport available. I've got a little set of shops that I like. I can get into town easy. I can get on a train, bus and coach easy. There's places for me to walk. 
Um, there's places for me to walk. Within, I can get over here on the bus in half an hour, just maybe a bit more some days because of the traffic. That could be someone waving, couldn't it? That tree up there. Yeah, so, and I got the beach. Within one minute I can be in the view of the sea. I can actually look out my bedroom window. I have to look sideways, but I can see this if the tide's coming in. Um, I can get into the woods. I can go on a short journey to Sand Bay. I, I walk, during the lockdown I was walking there and back, which I've done a lot anyway. Now that, that breeze I was dreading, when they said it could be 16 to 20 miles an hour, I thought I don't mind. Look at that knoll tree, look. You've been there a long time, I've seen you a few times. Today that breeze is welcoming. It helps cool the skin. I'm wearing my hat today. When I went to and did the Winscombe Circular the day before yesterday, um, that was a big day out, I, uh, there was no wind but it wasn't baking hot. Now yesterday was very, very hot. Now I've just met a couple and they're going back to Kent in a minute. And they said in Kent at the moment the temperature's 30. Now here it's supposed to be about 20. 21 with the breeze. Out of the breeze it's probably hotter. So Scotland are playing in the Euros in a couple of hours. England are resting up. Wales have got to play again, I think, can't remember when. Um, so I'm enjoying this walk. I want to, because our weather has been so unpredictable and not always for the best, I've just got to get out while it's good because we could have awful weather again and fierce storms. So family tree, I do a little bit here and there. In fact, I found a new certificate, a parish register certificate of my Times Three great grandfather, William Merritt, who married a Sarah Chester in about 1842, I think. He was, she was his second wife. Um, his first wife was my Times Three great grandmother, Harriet. Um, so that was a nice old baps, um, marriage record from a church. So I've managed to photocopy that last night. So I'm just doing little odd bits. I look at different parts of the tree. I thought I'd do a bit more on the merits. I'd like to go back further with the merits, who were blacksmiths, coachsmiths, maybe carpenters, who come from Portsea, uh, near Portsmouth. They're based down that way, and so I've got a feeling one could have been on HMS Trafalgar in the past. I'm looking into it all. It takes time. Sometimes I don't feel I've moved anywhere with some parts of my tree. Um, but I have devoted a lot of time to those where I'm moving fast. To be quite honest, it's like being on an escalator with some branches. I just keep on finding stuff. But some, yeah, they call it brick walls. Um... I'm chipping away at those brick walls a bit at a time, but this progress is probably looked upon as slow. I'm not doing going out of my way. I'm doing a lot of it online at the moment because there's a lot of data online now. Now, when I first started, you had to go in the record offices literally and plow through these massive books and microfishes. Um, now you've got loads of people transcribing. It's, uh, it's different how it, to how it was 20 years ago before the internet came into big use. Um, it's also good to record now because you never know in the future they might decide to prevent us from looking at our past. 
um, and I always do paper copies. I've got folders and folders and folders of certificates, documents, images, pamphlets, everything. I keep a written record as well. And loads of video footage of churchyard and oh, loads of stuff. And that's shared on YouTube, a lot of it. Um, and then, uh, so you never know if they started preventing you from looking at certain materials that you can at the moment see, it's good to get it down while you can and do paper copies because they might prevent, there might not be a facility to add it to your database. You never know what's going to happen. That's a big hole, isn't it? <laughs>